music is creation in its purest form. And the process of making music absolutely rocks. And this is exactly what we have brought for you. Pure music. Witness the 12 notes of the musical octave power with our 12 independent musicians as they sing, perform, record, mix and create a brand new album live on stage. Welcome to the first season of Artist Allowed LaunchCast. The first season of LaunchCast brings you a confluence of diverse musical genres, both vocal and instrumental, from traditional Eastern to modern Western, from regional to folk. Starting off season one, today on LaunchCast we have with us Shilpa Rao. To sing, record, mix, all in one studio. Being a professional musician, I would say it's not quite possible, but Artist Allowed has made it really, really possible for us. Thank you so much for LaunchCast and thank you so much for having us here and putting out our music for all of you guys to hear. Her melodious voice has enthralled millions. Born into a musical family, discovered and encouraged by the stalwart artist Hari Haran and having trained under Gulam Mustafa Khan, her unconventional voice has managed to make a lasting impression. Her voice and her style witnessed in songs like Khada Jani, Sayya and Vo Ajnabi have made Shilpa a singing sensation. There is no looking back for this supremely talented singer, Shilpa Rao. I'm here with my band. Uh, let me introduce them to you. Uh, Ashwin Andrew on drums. Dilshad Ji on sarangi. Joyda on bass. Adi on guitar. Arun on percussion. And that's Hitesh on keyboards. I've grown up with a lot of uh, ghazals, a lot of classical music around me as, I mean, since I was a kid. Uh, you cannot escape other genres of music and that's what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to put out something which uh, people can relate to because music stays forever. It's just the production that keeps changing and you can actually term it as the best of Naturally Us. Best of Naturally Us. Her solo album is a collage of five beautiful songs titled Rate Me Sarkie, Close to a Heart. Something new to the music. Challa, new version of Challa. from her fond memories. Dum Dum, her new creation. actually is one of those, uh, those compositions that you do when you're actually pushed against the wall when there is no way you can budge or, or move or something and Dum Dum is one of one of those uh, kind of compositions which which happened to me the entire band has been integral to uh, arrange it in, in in this way one two three four this is the actual this is real it's a very dynamic kind of a song it, it goes through many different changes when it comes to uh, dynamics, when it comes to musicality and uh, it's, it's written by Shelley. In order to take care of somebody else, you need to first take care of yourself and unless you're not completely uh, inspired uh, yourself, it's very difficult to inspire someone else. So I think uh, is a song that I would sing to my own self to uh, to keep my spirits up and to keep my uh, belief in life no matter what happens just going on 
till i'm alive so that that's the whole point of dum dum okay guys we're ready to roll It's time for song number 2. Shilpa Rao's second song from her first solo album shows us how pure music expresses our fond memories. Aaj Latha Nahi Ho. Aaj Latha Nahi Ho is one of those very very beautiful songs 
it's in rag bhim palashri and uh, it's a quintessential patiala composition we have this newer take of of a reggae uh, uh, sway to it which was uh, a quintessentially uh, hitesh's idea to hi uska matlab hai ki entry hai wo sab aise dhar pakad ke aa raha hai It was one of those really, really groovy tracks. You know, it turned out to be very groovy. I don't think reggae has ever been uh, interpreted by Indian musicians the way we are doing it. If you you know check it online, you have so many versions of this song. The first one was uh, Nusrat Khan Sahib's version that I heard, and it's it's like a kawali. There's another version of Javed Bashir, which is again, you know, it, it's actually a call to your beloved where you want him or her to stay back and not leave. That's the whole point of the song. We've tried to portray that, that emotion, that expression through uh, this version of uh, Ajla Tha Neyo, and uh, so I think uh, just hoping that you guys also groove with the with the song that we have.
coming up. Welcome to LaunchCast, where Shilpa's first solo album, The Best of Naturally Us, has begun to take shape. Let us now continue with our LaunchCast rendezvous with Shilpa Rao. And the next song is Jula. Jula, I think, is one of the most fond memories of my childhood, uh, especially because uh, my father taught me this song. Uh, he is my first guru and I am a musician primarily because of him. Dilshad, I will start with a solo. Okay, then I do the mukhda. Today, we wanted to keep this very, very uh, stripped down, very basic. But uh, Hitesh had this idea of, of incorporating the entire band together. Shilpa decided that I will not be with the guitar and with the guitar. I will never be with you. I will never be with you. I will never be with you. I will never That's what happened today and Jula has turned out uh, as beautiful, as soulful as it's supposed to be. So I, I hope you find your soul with, with this version of Jula.
fourth song from Shilpa Rao's solo album is a special song that is close to a heart. This one is Reet Me Sarkiye. This song actually was uh, the after effect or the result of 2611 that happened in Mumbai. Each and every person who is an Indian, who is a Mumbaikar, feels really strongly about what happened. And this was a point where uh, this song was a kind of a beacon of hope for people. And it was very required, uh, especially as a musician, we cannot go out and uh, defend the country. The only thing we can do is, through our music, give hope to people. And uh, Reet Me Sarke is one little small attempt from my side that the spirit of Mumbai is never going to be subdued. It's going to be always the same. The song has been written by Nilesh Mishra, who's, who's a very dear, dear friend. And uh, we both felt really strongly for what happened 2611. So just the vocals and guitar. And I just hope you guys love it.
Welcome back to Launchcast. It's the first episode with Shilpa Rao, and we are witnessing the making of her first solo album titled "The Best of Naturally Us." So far, we've heard four wonderful songs, and now it's time for the finale. This song is called "Challa." Challa is, I think, one song that has been sung by. every musician every uh, singer possible in india i've i've heard versions of rabi i've heard versions of uh, hans raj hans because it's it's such a universal kind of a song challa jo song hai usme kuch ek naya unhone kiya hai ek bilkul ye alag different color bana hai jaise ek fusion type ka the best part about challa is it can take any form you want it to be a, a place a, a person a thing anything so i think uh, what we've put together today for challa is a very very basic uh, production of it and uh, dilshad bhai on the sarangi he's actually got now the the actual nuances and the pathos of the song which which was the whole motive and the idea and uh, i just really hope you guys connect with the song the, the way we have
going to ask for a better place to launch all these five songs in this in this manner and uh, big thank you to artist loud for having us here for launch cast and uh, it's it's actually the launch pad for us to uh, put out some music that we really love playing and believe in so here's our music and i really really hope you love it Shilpa Rao's first solo album released exclusively on the first episode of Launchcast. Stay tuned for the next episode where you will once again witness pure magic being created live on stage. Artists allowed Launchcast where stars are reborn. Thursday at 4 p.m. Only on Amazon.com.